Master Christ, my Lord. Spiritual battle that strengthens the spirit of Christ of Genesis 3:15 within me. But one of the men with Jesus pulled out his sword and struck the high priest's slave, slashing off his ear. Put away your sword, Jesus told him. Those who use the sword will die by the sword. Don't you realize that I could ask my father for a thousand angels to protect us? And he would send them instantly. But if I did, how would the scriptures be fulfilled that describe what must happen now? Matthew chapter 26, verse 51 through 54. Jesus prayed in obedience to God's will in the Garden of Gethsemane. Then he returned to his disciples and said, The one who betrayed me has come near. At that time, Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' twelve disciples, came to where Jesus was. Many people sent by the chief priests and elders followed Judas Iscariot. They came with swords and clubs to catch Jesus. Judas Iscariot approached Jesus, kissed him, and said, Teacher, how are you? Jesus said, Judas, do what you came for. Men sent by the chief priest arrested Jesus. At this time, Peter drew his sword and cut off the ear of Malchus, the high priest's servant. Then Jesus said to Peter, Peter, put back your sword. All who take this sword will perish by the sword. Don't you know that if I ask my father, he will send more angels to save me than there are now twelve legions? It's not, it's not that, that God, God can't send, send an angel for me. For me. It's, it's just, just that, that he must fulfill his promise written in the Bible. Bible. After saying this, he reattached Malchus's ear and made him completely healed. When Jesus was arrested, the twelve disciples who had said they would always be with Jesus abandoned him and ran away in front of the soldiers with swords and clubs. Look at the love of Christ that saved Peter from destruction by the sword. Shall we confess the name of Jesus Christ, giving thanks for his love that saved us from our destroyed souls, broken hearts, mental illnesses, and physical illnesses with the precious blood of the cross and healed us with his loving hands? Jesus is the Christ. I am a child of God. All problems are gone. Satan be gone, filled with the Holy Spirit, world evangelization, to the ends of the earth, I will be your witness. Everyone has hidden problems that can never be solved with my efforts and power. Even if I eat delicious food, wear pretty clothes, read a lot of books, get compliments from people, no matter what I do, I'm never truly happy. My body is always struggling with an unknown emptiness and a lonely heart. And distorted emotions arise constantly due to the disease of unpleasant thoughts. All these problems are dark diseases or spiritual diseases that started from the original sin in Genesis 3. Before the creation of the world, Satan the devil appeared in the Garden of Eden in Genesis 3 as an ancient serpent. The great dragon fell onto this earth after having opposed God with arrogance and greed, then led the whole world astray. The devil tempted Adam and Eve, spiritual beings created in the image of God with lies. Because of the devil's lies, humans left God and the spirit of sin came unto them. Now, people are under the control of the spirit of power of sin, the spirit of death, and the spirit of Satan all their lives. 
and have become lost in their souls. So, although they appear to be perfect on the outside, they are suffering from diseases of emptiness in the heart, thoughts, the mind, and hidden problems. This is called the spiritual problem. Just as said in Psalm 14, 1, because there is no God of Genesis 3.15, people lose their minds, and today's future generations do not see Christ of Genesis 3.15 because their souls are increasingly corrupted and their behavior is abominable. However, in order to fulfill His promise in the Bible, God came in flesh to this earth and died on the cross, solving all the problems of humankind who left God. He is the Messiah Jesus Christ, the offspring of the woman of Genesis 3.15, who completely crushed the head of Satan. of God, the Holy Spirit of Christ of Genesis 3.15, the Comforter who was resurrected from the dead, is always with us who believe and accept Jesus as our Lord and Christ. Children of God must begin to pray spiritually as God has taught them not to pray according to their own will. If they focus on Christ of Genesis 3.15 every day and destroy the works of the devil in their body, the Spirit of Christ will become stronger within them. I command in the name of Christ, the Holy Spirit of God, you unclean spirit that is clinging to my body, preventing me from believing the Word of God, preventing me from putting it into my soul, and preventing me from believing and calling on the name of Christ. Be gone from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Break down the three curses from the original sin in Genesis 3 with the threefold office of Christ, the true king, true priest, and true prophet. If I strengthen the spirit of Christ within me through spiritual warfare that destroys the work of the devil, I will be able to control my heart, mind, and body and not run the devil's errand. I bless you throughout this week to become the spiritual summit where you will always rejoice in your identity and authority as a child of God and achieve God's dream, the Diaspora mission in 237 countries and world evangelization through spiritual prayer and gratitude. Almighty God, I am thankful for the love of Jesus Christ of Genesis 3.15 who saved and healed me through the precious blood of the cross when I was suffering from hidden problems and mental and spiritual illnesses with thoughts that came from the original sin. Let me become the summit of the gospel who realizes a dream of world evangelization through the spiritual battle of destroying the devil's work in my body every day and strengthening the spirit of Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>